do you have a little box with bits in that you know you're going to use in your junk journals at some point? I've got these packaging from stamps. Little bits of card. And, you know, this bit. And I think this is what I'm going to make my tags out of for my boho journal. I think, look at that one. <laughs> I don't think it'll fit. But that'd be a really cool shaped tag for something. And I've just got loads of bits in here. So I put a couple of layers of gesso onto all of my little bits of tags. And I've got out my gelatos, my little pack. And I'm going to have a little play with these. Because I haven't played with them for a long time. So I thought I would. Okay. Let's start with a little one. Don't want to overwhelm myself. And all I'm going to do is put some colour on the bottom of these. So just go for it. <laughs> it's playtime. Baby wipe. And just just spread the colour around. This is just the first layer. I'm still having a bit of a play with mixed media, so you know, well, bear with me while I learn. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's put this is like a really bright yellow. I might get some more of these, I might treat myself. Mother's Day is coming up. <laughs> you never know. Put it on my wish list. Well, they might as well get that. Get me some gelatos rather than some flowers. I'd much prefer gelatos. <laughs> there we go. And I'm just going to finish doing that on all of these. Now, I've got this big one. Ooh. Let me see, because I've sort of left the edge of this one. Yep, I've got my big thick jumper on again today because it is still freezing cold here, freezing. Okay, here we go. Let's just smudge this in and see what we get. Do all the orange. It's looking good, isn't it? Quite liking this. Quite liking this. Well, that's different. Right, let's try something different. Let's go. Let's go with this big. Mm, should we do this big one? Yeah, let's do this big one. And I'm going to try... I've used orange a couple of times. Let's go with the purple. You know, I love a bit of purple. I think if I put it on my glass mat... Give me a bit of this pink. Oh, come on. It doesn't want to come out so well. And I spray it. Let me move the ones off done. They'll be dry soon. Oh, that pink is not working very well. And I'm just going to blob. Oh, I'm liking it. I know you've all done this so many times, but I think it's a great way to make tags. And I'm not worried about the back because it's going to get in a mess. I'm going to leave it till the end and then back it with some coffee dye paper. 
Right, I'll put another layer of that on there. Let's just do this little one while we've got some left. Drag it through. Get, get it on the edges to make the edges dark. I am going to get this on my jumper, aren't I? <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> I didn't yesterday. I was doing this yesterday. It got really dark though. Okay, I think we can leave that one to dry as well. Where did that baby wipe go? Let's do that with another colour. Maybe not the pink because it doesn't seem to want to work, that pink. And I'm, I'm going to push my sleeves Let's up. do some little ones. At least yellow. Will that work? I could get the paint out again. But this is slightly less messy. Okay, and then we're just going to dip, dip, dip this side in. <laughs> that would help. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, ooh. I've had a very messy weekend. Paint, gelatos. Right, let's let that one dry and we can do another layer. Let's just get some of that up onto this one. Because I think this is going to take a bit of layering as well. Cool. Right, I think I'll get the rest layered up and then dried and we'll go in for a second layer. Okay, I didn't go very far away because I've decided I'm going to have a little play with these pastels. Now these are... Um, soft pastels and I don't use them very often as you can see I think I've had these about a year <laughs> this is how much I've used them so I thought we'd have a go and see what happens if we if we just get some of the bits off um, let's just go two different types of green on there because I want different colour tags I don't really know how to use these. I'm just having a bit of a play. So I think if I just give them a spritz with water. Ooh, maybe. And I've got my little palette knife because I can still see lots of bits. So I'm just sort of squashing them down. And I'm going to dip into that. Let's try, let's try this little one. See what happens. Ah, oh, it's quite pale. Let's just wipe it. Oh, now I like that. That's quite cool. And we can drip it. They're like little mini art things. Let's get some more. Nice. I quite like doing this. <laughs> I could get addicted. Right, let's wipe that up. And let's go for a different colour scheme. Let's go for some sort of brownie colours. Maybe like a vintagey thing effect. Maybe that one. I don't know. Let's try a little bit of this. And perhaps I'll squash them down. Right, let's put some water. Oh, that's going to be quite yummy, isn't it? Dip this one in. Like I say, I'm covering the back afterwards. Oh, that is that is very grungy. May not go in this journal. May have to wait for my next. Oh, 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 out of the way. Come back. Oh, I quite like that. That that is. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. All right, let's just get some of this on the edges to make it darker. Just drag it through. What do you think? Right. I am now thinking this. I'm just going to use up the ends. Okay, let me wipe that up. 
because it's a mess. And I'm going to dry all these and we'll put another layer of something. I am quite loving these little ones. I, um, these are really cool. I'm loving them. These are great. These need more work. So we're going to have to put more layers on those. But I've got ideas for what I want to do with these little ones. So I'm going to put them over there. And the first thing we're going to do is put another layer onto these ones. And I'm going to use the um, these. It's just some blue. Blue and green should never be seen, apparently. Is that everywhere except in art? <laughs> I think. I don't know. The lumps might be good. I don't know. I don't know. Haven't done it before. Let's, let's just spray. I can see all the bits still. Maybe it'd be fun to have some bits on it. I think I'm going to put this on this one. So I'm going to do some more dipping. <laughs> oh, oh, this is fun. That is so cool. These are great. Look at these. My little boho tags are coming along. Coming along. Right, that's going to take a long time to dry, but I sort of love it. We'll dry them off in a minute. Do I want any more? Oh, I could do another layer on this one. Just darker. I'm only making tags, so it's not, you know, it's not rocket science. I'm not taking a test at the end of it. See whether I pass or fail. There'll be no marks out of 10 in the comments. Thank you. <laughs> I know you lot. Marks out of 10. The Carol's effort at mixed media. <laughs> I like it. I think it's fun. So let's just let's just add the rest of this onto there because because we can. Oh, it's like oh, I'm doing lines. That's cool. I like that. Okay, that up. yellow. I'm loving these. I'm doing it with these now. I was going to do it with my gelatos, but I'm doing it with these now. And I'm getting my little fan brush. I'm gonna. Have to move these out of the way because they're going to get splattered because I'm going to splatter hopefully but put enough water I think there's enough water okay I just want to do some splattering <laughs> cover it up there we go bit of a and I think this one will look nice with some yellow on. Big blobs. And that one. Right, that's it. Can't really use my yellow on the other ones. I can use this and dip. Though, and get some more on this one. And I think I might have to do some drying in a minute. Everything's a bit wet. Right in that centre there, I want some. Yeah. I will go and wash everything in a minute. I have a big massive washing up session. So these, I think, I'm going to leave for now. And what I'm going to do on those... Is a bit of stenciling but first I need to quickly make myself some um, texture paste so what you need is a bit of glue if you've never made your own texture paste this is like just really quick and easy I don't measure I just tip in a bit of glue Shh. Don't let the measuring police find out. Don't tell them. Talcum powder. A 
and I'll just put some squirts in and some paint and I'll do some water if I need water and I've decided to go with this colour because I absolutely love this colour there we go we'll see how we go we're going to mix it up or we need some more paint just I just keep adding one or the other now until it gets to a spreading consistency a bit more water that is very very stiff I think this will do it how cool is that now we have blue texture paste and I've made a bit more than I'll probably need but it would keep if you had it in a um, sealable container and I do have some I can transfer it to so okay now I can't do it on the ones that are wet so I'm going to do it on these totally the wrong colour but you know <laughs> let's find a little stencil I've got these little stencils out oh no no it's not a good time at the moment Thank you. <laughs> she wants to help. Yep, she's helping by knocking everything over. And she's gone again. <laughs> right, so just grab a bit of this. And I'm just going to random. Hoping you can still see. Am I still in the frame? Yeah, look at that. Doing well. covering all of it I'm doing a bit more just down here and you will need to wash your stencils out straight away really as soon as I've finished and there you go blue stencil paste obviously everything is going to be blue now because I've mixed up quite a lot but you can do like lots of different colors I don't know what else you can mix it with. Who knows? But I know it works with paint. So. And I just want to make that carry on down there. <laughs> it's very hard to get that. It's very light. <laughs> it wants to move. I think that looks really cool so that's what I'm gonna do on my tags and I think they're gonna look really cool what do you think guys do you like them right um, as soon as I'm using this one I'm just gonna carry on and then I'm go and wash it I feel like a kid just playing. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Right. I'm going to finish all these off because obviously you've seen what I'm doing and you don't need to watch me do every single one. OK, guys, we're back. We're all cleaned up. And I just want to say, in case you didn't know, that you can't just wash texture paste down your sink. It will clog up so get most of it off with a baby wipe off your stencils off your mat everything a little bit will be fine but you don't want to be washing great big blobs of that down it goes rock hard okay so bear that in mind i've cleaned all mine put everything away and we are all dry and i think they've turned out pretty cool i wish i'd done two different colors but i didn't I just made far too much and I finished off, I didn't do any on that, I just finished off putting them on these 
and I had some left over. So I just grabbed out some packing paper and covered them for, I don't know, some random reason. Because I hate waste. I hate waste. So we're going to just pop these on one side for a minute. Now this one... I am going to leave until I do another grungy journal because this isn't going to go in my boho one at all. Uh, this one, I didn't put any blue on. So as you can see, I've used this stencil before. And what I want to do is, let me get me black, is do um, just stencil through it. Now this is very, very wet, soggy black. So I'm hoping it's going to work. Which way do I want it? Do I want it this way so I don't go over that hole? Yep. Okay, right. I've washed my hands and everything. And you watch, I'll end up covered in black again. <laughs> I just thought this would make a really cool sort of um, flip tag. Now, I'm aware that this is probably shaking, so I'll be back when I've done this. Fine. I like that. That looks awesome to me. I will clean that. I'll probably just pop, like, some sort of embellishment around it. But I think that will look really cool in my journal. So, we just got to play with these. Now, I'll do a couple. I won't do all of them with you. I love this one. How <laughs> this I just did the whole square shape of that little stencil onto it and let's just do let's do a sort of one of each sort of size and i've got together a few bits and pieces so i've got that aren't obviously going to go because i've done blue now <laughs> but you know it's boho we'll get away with it won't we i've also got out some bits of scraps that we had out before this is in my scrap box so let's do this one let's see if backing this onto here will make any difference that on another one doesn't really matter right. let's have a look and see what it looks like on the pink got all of the rough edges going to go mad with layers and layers because this journal is going to get too chunky too quick so we'll add that and what i have got out i don't know if i'm going to use them is all my little bits from you know look you get all the ends i can't throw anything away oh it's terrible well that might i might use that <laughs> oh look I can't, honestly, guys, I have a problem. Why can't I throw stuff away? You see, now that, to me, is perfect. Little bundle. I'll get rid of them. To go underneath there. <laughs> I know, you all think I'm crazy. Crazy. I just think it just... And it gives it a finishing touch and I quite like it I quite like it so let's just ink up the edge of this with some with some pink I should do purple really shouldn't I should do purple I've got purple let's do 
let's do purple on this. Get off, it's very sticky. Let's just add a bit of this, just to merge it with the wombina, but underneath. I could always put more gesso on if I didn't like that blue, but it's boho. Anything goes. Anything goes. Glue. Which side were we doing? Yeah, it just doesn't really matter. They're both the same. Move you out of the way. I'm trying not to get glue on my nice clean piece of paper, my backing paper. Can't even see half of what's underneath there now. But do you know what? It's fine. I put my little. <laughs> little bundle of stuff what about some of this as well let's just cut some of this just because just because I don't know let's have a look I think that'll look quite cool Right, let's use that and see how we get on, whether it sticks. Should do. We'll put a lot of glue on. I've got, I've got any more of that. Where did I just put that there? I'm just wondering if uh, it's not long enough, is it? That might be. I can't actually leave it on because I've got to do the back yet. Oh! Oh! That, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Oopsie! That must have got a bit wet. Okay. Don't panic. Do not panic. We can fix this. We can grab some what I just found. Ooh. Ooh. This might do it. Piece of that. I need my fabric scissors. I really don't think my uh, paper and glue scissors are going to do any good at all. Let's make this really thick so it covers up my mistake. Oopsie. This is going to fray. Right, I'm going to have to stitch around this just to keep it from fraying. And then I will add it onto the top of there, like that. But I will have to cover the back first, so that will be my last thing. So that will be that, will be that done. See? No need to panic. <laughs> Don't panic, Mr. Monoroon. Okay, let's let's just layer some of these up. <laughs> now, what I want to do is not glue these straight down again. I want to um, make like a cluster of stuff and then stitch it there we go ready made clusters aren't they just grab a grab some stuff out of here and it's like a, a ready made cluster going onto your page <laughs> and a little focal point afterwards um oh a little purple one i think that will do nicely that will do. So I'm going to stitch that. Then I'm going to pop this on. And obviously I'll be doing it at that angle. So that we can see all that. So that will be done. And let's just have a little play with this one before I toddle off to do my sewing. Um, let's have a look. Got a ticket. An 
And obviously you lot are better at decorating these things than I am. I'm not very good at the decorating bit. So, you know. You lot carry on. I have this. Which I might put on. that's going to um, be very annoying and I think I will probably add um, some beads or something onto there I can't cut the corners it's very very chunky but we will ink them okay we might put that one like this okay so I'll be back when I finish them all because that's all I'm going to do is pop these bits and pieces on that I've got I've picked out on my desk and I will see you for just to show you the completed lot okay back to just finish these off I have flattened them underneath books I've backed them with packing paper because I have so much of it and I think it looks really cool and wrinkly I like it if I wanted to I could also distress the back as well but I'm going to leave these now until I want to put them in my journal. So this one I just um, folded up a bit of that really fine fabric and put it behind and then just layered some more bits. This one I got some uh, netting, a bit more fabric and just put a couple of tickets on there. Oh, <laughs> I think they've turned out pretty cool. There's my big boo-boo one, which is pretty cool now. It's nice and stuck on. I did leave the packaging over the back, so it's got some sort of somewhere to hold. I finished off this one as well, ready to go into a Gunji journal. And this one is almost done. And what I think I'm going to be doing is putting a... Um, And what I'll probably do is either put some fabric through that little hole or I might dangle it with a ball pin and a charm or something. And I've just got to glue these back onto here. I haven't got an embellishment for the front of that yet either. So, right. That one's done. I will probably add more when I put them into the journal. So, and they may not all go in. You know, we've, we've got options Okay, so I think that was going on the purple. Was that going on there? Which one was the blue one? Oh, this was so cool, wasn't it? I might just leave that as a cluster and pop this on like this. Maybe the other way around. Oh, I don't know. Let's just pop these on. That's going to stay like a cluster and I might, I'm going to find some little tiny embellishments for that one and I'll probably add a word or something like that onto these as well as you can see just little clusters and pop them on the front <laughs> it's getting glue everywhere. <laughs> there we go. So those are the tags. I probably still haven't got anything to um, put into my journal yet. These probably too big now to go in pockets, but, you know, we'll make some pockets to fit them. And I'll back those as well. Obviously, I can't sew through these because my sewing machine won't go through that thickness but I'm gonna I'll go around and make sure they're properly glued this one needs an embellishment that needs an embellishment but I am gonna call it a day for today and say thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed it I really do and I hope it's given you a bit of inspiration and you know you'll go off and make make some of your own 
just out of packaging really so and you know scraps like we've all got so we've done quite well today i feel like we've actually achieved quite a lot so i'll see you soon guys and we will get on and maybe start decorating in the journal and adding things okay bye for now